I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We'll discuss collinear vectors with the help of an example. Prove that a minus 1, 2, 3, b 4, 0, minus 1, and c 14 minus 4 minus 9 are collinear and find the ratio in which b divides c a. So collinear means they are along the same line with a common point. So basically we need to show that A, B and C are along the same line. That is to say that if this is A and that is C then B could be somewhere in between, right? Then it means they are collinear. To show that they are collinear we are going to first find the vector A, B and then BC and see if they are scalar multiple or not. Correct? So let's find the vector AB. What is AB equals to? Now AB will be can be written as B minus A. So 4 minus minus 1. I could write this as 4 plus 1. 0 minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 which is equal to 5 minus 2 and minus 4. Now let us calculate what is BC. So BC will be coordinates of C minus that of B. So we get 14 minus 4 minus 4 minus 0 and minus 9 minus 1 minus of minus 1 becomes plus 1 so that gives you 14 minus 4 is 10 minus 4 and this gives you minus 8 so these are the vectors a b and b c for these vectors to be collinear what is the condition that means we could have scalar multiple, right? So they are collinear if AB times some constant is equal to BC. Now, what you can see from here very clearly is that AB, which is 5 minus 2 minus 4, times k should be equal to bc which is 10 minus 4 minus 8 you can clearly see that k is equals to 2 right so that means they are scalar multiple so they have the same direction right so in the first part when we say they are scalar multiple it means same direction so that means Correct. Now, they are collinear mainly because they have B as a common point. Now, since B is common point, they are collinear. Perfect. So, both the things combine together. One, they are scalar multiple, that means they are in the same direction, and then B is a common point. So you get a sketch which is kind of shown here. So we have done part A of this question. Now, let's in, look into the ratio in which B divides C A. So in what ratio do they divide? So what we can do is, we can just find magnitude of B C and divide that by magnitude of A B to do the second part, that is the ratio in which B divides C A. Magnitude of B C is square root of 10 square plus minus 4 square plus minus 8 square. And magnitude of A B is 5 square plus minus 2 square plus 
minus 4 square correct well since you know this is two times that constant value you know the ratio is 2 is to 1 but anyway let's calculate so we have square root of 10 square plus 4 square plus 8 square equals 2 we get 6 square root 5 and the denominator is square root of 5 square plus 2 square plus 4 square equals to 3 square root 5 which is 2. So that clearly indicates that this ratio is 2 is to 1. So B divides AC in the ratio of 2 is to 1. Correct? So, so you can say that BC is to AB is equals to 2 is to 1. Correct? Oh, maybe. 2 is to 1. So that is how you can do part B of this question. So whenever we have two uh, collinear vectors, then the point, the three points involved, one of them will be in between the two. So it will internally divide the whole segment in some ratio m is to n. And that is how we could calculate. So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great for watching and all the best.